Hi, this is Vea, and today I want to show you how easy it is to send video and metadata content from GV Stratus to a YouTube channel. First of all, you need to do a bit of configuration. On the Stratus control panel under the engine section, get yourself to the data mover. There you will see an area to configure the managing account for the YouTube channel. When you enter the account, you will have to authenticate and that will give GV Stratus a token so that it can upload YouTube videos to that page. It is possible to set up multiple accounts to manage multiple channels. Once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is create a workflow rule that will export the content over to the YouTube channel in question. You need to set up the destination path for a YouTube channel. The credentials will be taken from the previous step as we set up for the data mover. Next, you need to decide what format and resolution you want your content to be. You have a couple of options. You can choose to transcode the content using a third-party transcode engine, which GV Stratus will control and communicate with. Alternatively, you can choose, like I have done here, the Stratus native proxy format. This will be a lot faster as there is no transcoding to do. And the proxy format will be taken according to your configuration on the proxy quality and the control panel for GV Stratus. We have three levels of quality and you can choose the one that your proxy content will be created as. We also have the ability to export metadata, such as name, description, and tags. And for that, you need to make sure that the metadata format is set to YouTube Simple. It is also possible to upload custom metadata fields that are relevant to YouTube, such as privacy or category, but you need to customize the metadata template file that GV Stratus sends. Please contact your GV representative if you'd like to discuss how. For multiple YouTube channels, you simply need to set up additional rules. When the setup is done, you get yourself to the Stratus application and you can choose the file or multiple files that you want to upload to your YouTube channel. In this case, I'm going to upload this GV Stratus promo. Make sure that all of your metadata is entered as you decide to publish. So in this case, I'm gonna add just one more extra tag, promo and a demo. When you're all set up, you simply have to invoke that rule. In my case, I'm going to right click and apply the rule manually. This is a new function that we've added on version 4.5 of GV Stratus. So I'm just gonna simply choose that rule to export to YouTube. And I'll see here on the monitor how quickly that export is happening. As I said, this is a native proxy export. Therefore, there's no transcoding to do. There's no rewrapping of the file. Simply that MP4 file is being uploaded to the YouTube channel. When the upload has completed, and you can see that on the monitor is now at 100%, you can get yourself to your YouTube channel and have a quick check. YouTube will check for copyrighted material. And once that has happened, you can see that in my case, my video has been already published and I can take a quick look at the information and settings. And you're able to see here the metadata that I've actually published from Stratus. It is that simple. Now users with the correct permissions can send video from GV Stratus to YouTube channel at the simple touch of a button.